Hi! Good morning, everybody. Okay, so I'm just getting ready. Um, Crystal and I have to go to the store just to pick up one or two things. I think we're going to do our main grocery shopping tomorrow. Uh, she wants to go for a little drive, and I think we might go to this, like, Indian cuisine restaurant that we went to, I think, like, two weeks ago or a week ago. Super freaking delicious. As you guys can tell, I am completely off track on my diet. Um, no, I'm not counting calories or anything. Um, I don't even think I'm making good choices, but I'm in a complete rut 110% and I'm here to admit that. Please don't judge me though. I think what's important in this is that I'm actually thoroughly happy right now and, um, I, I, I feel like I need to work on my mental health. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get through some things and, but I do, I feel just internally happy. I have been feeling this way for a couple of days now and it feels really, really good. Uh, just because, you know, I'm not counting calories or anything like that. It doesn't make me a bad person and, um, I'll get through it though. outfit of the day today I'm just wearing a bun and in the back um I'm wearing a pink bow <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that if you can I'll show you in a minute and I'm wearing this uh pink scarf super cute and this is like one of my favorite shirts to wear when it's cold out I got this from a uh, dress barn I think and I'm wearing this owl pink rose ring I got from shopmissay.com and a pair of just pink heart earrings I actually got from Walmart. Uh, so yeah, there it is. I'm super, I showed you guys this before, but I'm like in love with Crystal's coat. I just can't get over it. Like, it just is so cute. I love the buttons, like how short it is. Turn around. And I like how like this part does this like thing. I don't know. I don't understand it, but I'm obsessed. It looks amazing on her. So, according to Crystal's car, it's 53 degrees outside. And we both walked outside and we're both like, okay, this is like perfect temperature. So, if you guys are ever curious, Crystal and I think the perfect temperature is 53 degrees. I, I know a lot of people who would be like, that is way too cold. But we just think it feels amazing. I love how we're like the same in that. Like, we both love the winter the most. We love being cold. We love like cuddling under the blanket, like trying to get warm. Like, that is the way to live. No one needs a sweat. No, it was not a sun rays. It was a UFO. You guys, there was this big silver thing just in, up in the sky. And I told Crystal, obviously, don't look. You're driving on a windy road. But legit, though, I just saw a UFO vanish right in front of my eyeballs. I'm not even kidding. And Crystal goes, probably just a sun rays. <laughs> one thing, one thing you guys need to learn about this cutie pie over here is that aliens and spiders those are the two things that she's like terrified of me i'd fucking hug an alien give him a high five tell him hey well i'm not even kidding i am not afraid of aliens ghosts on the other hand yeah sorry i have sun all of my kool-aid ghosts on the other hand now that's something different and there's this thing that crystal and i like do because it's funny because she's so scared of like bugs and takes in and insects and spiders Sometimes we'll hear, oh, roadkill. Roadkill makes me cry. Anyways, I'm rambling. But there's this thing we do where, like, I we think we hear something, like, in the house if we're, like, home alone or whatever and all the animals are near us. We, like, hear some upstairs. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's probably a ghost. And she'll look at me and goes, as long as it's not a bug. I'm just like, how could you be more scared of a bug than a ghost? I feel like ghost is the worst. But anyways, yeah, I just saw a UFO, so that's, that's kind of cool. I just saw one vanish into 
Netherlands. And if we get abducted, I'll tell you guys the story. So we just did a little shop shop. I look like a cray person like this. And I want to show you guys, look at what we did. If I could find it. Oh. oh, we got this, we did this big old bag. This is my purse, by the way, sorry. This big old bag, it says top dog. And it's just filled with uh, snacks and things like that for Crystal's dad because, I don't know, he deserves it. Crystal's dad loves, you know, like snacking and stuff. Um, he's a very healthy man, so don't worry about his health. And obviously I can't eat things like this or I'll keel out. But uh, we like to surprise him with like a bunch of different snacks and stuff. And there's literally over like 21 things in here so he's gonna have a field day opening this crystal's car is so awesome she has these like seat warmers and it's getting cold outside because it's nighttime so i'm gonna put mine on three it goes all the way up to five it is so awesome okay you guys it's super dark out we gave her dad all the snacks and he loved them all um of course he doesn't sit there and eat them all they're like for a span of like a month but anyways it's a different story so it's dark time and I'm actually going to the ER. Um, nighttime, it's nighttime. <laughs> um, I'm going to the ER because I don't know if you guys watched my vlog where I said like my shoulder really, really was hurting and it was like traveling up to like my neck and stuff. Um, it does feel better 110%, but it still hurts and it's bugging me. And I want to see like what the issue is if it's a pulled muscle I want them to tell me what I can do to fix it if it's something more serious um, Like involving my heart. I think I need to know that and I need to fix that and change that and I'm I'm actually quite nervous um, I haven't been to the ER in forever last time I found out I had gallstones So I'm hoping this time I just find out something super simple like a pulled muscle um, I'm really nervous you guys but I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Well, here we are, the emergency slash trauma center. So, oh, I just want this to get over with. So we're in the emergency room and there was like this cop who was like, stop. And he had to ask us if we had a fever or if we knew anyone who traveled outside of the country. And you know what that's about, Ebola. So that literally put me on guard. This might sound bad, but I'm kind of scared to be in the ER right now. So we've been here for about an hour and a half. Um, nothing's really been going on. Uh, just typical stuff. Took my temperature. Got weighed. Um, what's that one thing called? Blood pressure. Bunch of questions. That's about it. This is what the little room looks like that I've been sitting in for like 50 years. Just this little tiny thing. With the curtains. That's my chair. So this is me just sitting here, waiting. Tick tock, tick tock. I don't even have a watch. So far I've seen like three or four doctors and still nothing. I'll let you guys know. So I just got out of the hospital after like three hours, three plus hours, something around there. Um, and I am so happy to report it has nothing to do with my heart. He said my heart is perfectly fine. I've had so many EKGs in my life for like different reasons between chest pain and from anxiety and just random stuff like that. And I had cellulitis at one point and I was like literally on my deathbed, but that's a whole other story that you know I can share with you guys if you want to know. But anyways, my heart is perfectly healthy and it feels really good to know that. I mean, I know I'm obese and you know, if I keep being the way I am now, like I could potentially you know have a heart attack one day or a stroke or wh whatever it may be but as of right now um i do have a healthy heart so none of i have to worry um i actually all it is is like a neck strain i guess i pulled a muscle or whatnot they prescribe me two medicines which i will not be taking because i'm the type of person who just doesn't take medicine i i don't believe in it unless i thoroughly really truly like they tell you it's life or death then I'll take it but besides that I really just don't take medicine um, I know that might sound weird to a lot of people but you guys I'm fine yes there's a little pain but I think I can bear through it I don't need no medicine and I didn't have a heart attack I don't have cardiac arrest that's probably the same thing and my heart is beautiful 
so I think I'm gonna end my vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it um today was quite the up and down day I really thought I was gonna go into the hospital and find out some really bad news and I actually found out good news so yay thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my video tomorrow or not tomorrow I'll see you in my next video I'm not sure when that'll be I'm not sure why I said tomorrow that was strange bye